What's going on guys, DJ Mad and Mindy checking in. Today I'm going to be revisiting a tutorial about vocal align. All right? I did this video a long time ago and I don't think it went pretty well. I mean, the, the setup was correct, but it didn't go too well. On top of that, it was a very old version of vocal line. Now I got the newest version, which is version 4 point something something. And I am going to make it work. So I'm using it on Cubase 8 Pro. And this is going to be really cool. So I got these vocals right here. I'm going to use this as a dub. Uh, uh, and this this is gonna be the lead or whatever, and this is gonna be the uh, whatever you want to call it. The point is that I'm gonna use this one to um, to the, for for the lead, and this one is gonna follow. As of right now, they are pretty much in sync. Of our love, we could change the world. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to intentionally mess this audio up. So I'm gonna cut it here, and I'm gonna move this back a bit. I'm gonna push this back. So now it's gonna sound all off sync. Of our love, we could change the world. I mean, let me let's let's do a little more dramatic change. We could change the world. There you go. Of our love. A little more maybe. Of our love. Yeah, that's pretty good. So what I what I'm going to do next is let's turn this uh this thing on again. I'm gonna start it from right here. Oops. No, bar. Of our love. All right, so the first thing uh, you have to do to, to do the setup of vocal line is you want to go to your, uh, what you call this? Well, the point is load up uh, an instance vocal line. There you go, dub and guide, okay? So you want to go to your dub, which is this right here. Let's name that dub. This is your guide. All right, so you want to go to your dub and load up the, the instance of a vocal line. You want to turn on side chain, and then you want to go to your guide, open the editor, and send the signal to the side chain, to the side chain that you just opened. Close that, and now that you have all that set up, all you have to do is hit capture and play the track. Of our love, we could change the world. All right, so it captured the guide and the dub and all you have to do next is hit this edit button and it will do its magic once that's done when you play it back it should work so let's see what happens of our love we could change the world that's pretty amazing now with or without this is without of our love with of our love without of our love with of our love we could change the world so there you have it. That's vocal line, the latest version. It actually works uh, way better than the one before. The my previous video wasn't really that great looking, and the way it just I don't know, it just didn't work properly. But this one works very very well, and is is very easy to do. Now, um, the previous video I spoke about. Okay, once you have this and you have multiple tracks and whatever you do, you have to have a, uh, an instance of a uh, of vocal line in every track. Yes, if you want to have it on live mode. Now, if you if I'm happy with the way this thing came about. All you have to do is uh, bounce in place, which I was uh, complaining on the previous video before uh, that the Pro, um, um, Pro Tools Cubase didn't have bounce in place, but now they do. So all you have to do, hopefully, won't crash because, you know, uh, it happens like that. But all you have to do is select this right here and bounce, uh, bounce in place, which is R. I have a shortcut for R. And it should bounce the corrected version. So let's see what happens. Did it? So it bounced the corrected version. And how do I know? Because I can see that it's lined up right here um, compared to the one that I just bounced. So now you don't have to use this anymore. And when you play it back, of our love, we could change the world. Now, it did bounce it on stereo, and the reason why it bounced it on stereo, I think, is because the vocal line thing, it bounces on stereo, whatever the case may be. I'm not sure about that. If anybody knows why it does that and how I could change it to where it bounces on mono, please leave the comments on the comment box thingy below and let me know, ask any questions or whatever, and I'll be more than happy to answer. I hope this helps you on setting up this vocal line thing. Any other questions, please hit me up and let me know. And most importantly... Please, please hit that subscribe button, comment, 
and like this video. It would encourage me to continue doing these types of videos over and over and over and trying to help you guys out with anything that I could possibly know or whatever. And if, it's, if there's any uh, suggestions of any videos that you guys would like to know about Cubase or whatever, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to let you guys in on it. Uh, most importantly, the reason why I did this video is because Synchro, Synchro Arts did a terrible job explaining how this stuff uh, actually works on Cubase. As a matter of fact, on the newer version, they don't even explain it anymore. I guess the Cubase and Synchro Arts doesn't have too much of a great relationship with each other. That's why they just don't care. And, and you know, me personally, I think uh, this should be standard on all dolls, like Cubase, hint, come on, dude. Um, I'm pretty sure they have something down the sleeve and they're going to charge us, you know, 125 bucks for that update. But until then, you know, come on, guys, you know, this should be a floating uh, plugin, like I mentioned before. And, and basically, uh, Vocal Line should behave like it behaves on Pro Tools, which it happens to work the best on Pro Tools. If you guys own a copy of Pro Tools, which I do, which is the latest version right here, but bam. Um, uh, th that's what I would do. I mean, if I w if I were to track and, and vocal line all, you know, a big session, I would do it on Pro Tools and then bring the vocals back into uh, Cubase just because of that reason. It's just too much work. But until then, you know, like I said, comment, subscribe, like, and all that good stuff, and uh, follow on all the social media, the Twitters and the and the Instagrams. Uh, D-E-E-J-A-Y-M-A-D. Thank you guys so much, and I'll check you on the next one. Have a good one.